Hey guys, welcome back to another tree farm video. So today we have the acacia, oak, spruce and birch tree farm. The first two tree farms were a bit on the easy side. This one is a little bit more complicated, but it's also a lot faster than the first two ones. So this farm can reach rates up to 27,000 logs per hour in case of birch trees, but also reaches about 20,000 logs per hour for acacia trees. So let's take a look first and then we do a test run. So the wiring for this one is a bit more complicated as you can see compared to the last one. For the previous one we basically just had simple redstone wires and that was it. But now we have to actually power a lot of pistons directly. We don't use any of the new honey blocks so that means you could also use this farm in Minecraft 1.14. Alright, let's take a look at the bottom. It's not too hard but yeah compared to the previous one it's definitely a step up in complexity. The reason why we don't use any honey or slime blocks uh, for the leaf crushing is that we use a simplified uh, layout for the acacia trees. So the acacia trees can generate basically in a cross shape. The branches on the side they would yeah, generate where we have the logs here. And in order to make the farm easier we don't deal with the logs they would generate to the side. We only deal with the, yeah, the logs that generate in the middle of the farm. So where all the other tree types would generate like birch or spruce. And then sometimes it can happen that a log generates directly in front of the sticky piston. But that's why yeah, we also had to deal with that. So there's a separate line uh, here that also pushes in logs. So in case it happens that we get two logs in a row, so one that generates here in the middle, and then on the right, then we can deal with that with the extra row of pistons. But yeah, the, the, ma the main tree trunk gets pushed here to the side, once uh, we fill up five in a row, it gets pushed over and TNT breaks it. All right, so let's turn this farm on. There's a lever here. Already turned down the block sounds a bit. So we'll just stand here and place saplings. You guys can see this is decently fast. Cycling is 12 ticks for this farm. And there's not a special acacia mode, you can just switch over to birch for example. You can also just immediately switch over to spruce. There's nothing special about it. But yeah, almost as always, in case you want to farm oak, you need to prevent large oak trees from generating. So I added this yeah, compact triple piston extender here at the top. Pushes down pistons. That limits the tree height to five. And you can also farm oak trees. All right. So next I'm gonna add a command block that places the saplings for me, then we can see the farm in action. So the farm is now running for acacia trees. I think in terms of performance the farm is also acceptable. On my system it runs most of the time between 7 and 9 MSPT. One of the challenges of this farm is actually to get enough saplings back, especially for the acacia trees, because compared to for example 1.8 the item physics have changed so much and yeah, the items get shot everywhere. So in order to deal with this issue of the acacia tree specifically not generating the leaves in the same place, um, I added some extra pistons that also break leaves that are a bit further away from you know, the center of the tree. And I also placed down a couple of hoppers that would collect saplings in places where they mostly get stuck at. So they glitch through the pistons and get, get shot to the back. Um, which for the normal trees like birch and so on wasn't an issue. They are still broke enough uh, leaves in order to get enough saplings back. For the, but for the acacia trees this was actually an issue. So on the other side I also put down some hopper minecarts. Total I'm just using three hopper minecarts uh, for sapling collection but a couple hoppers here in the back that are required additionally. Another thing that I used in order to make the farm quicker is the triple dispenser setup. Yeah, in order just to bone meal the saplings quicker. Tree detection works by powering the first lock block that is generated. And there's an observer here on the side that updates the sticky piston directly below. So this pushes the whole tree up by one. And then we pull it back down. And it actually also updates the piston right next to it. It is powered by quasi connectivity, it pushes everything over and then via instant repeater we start breaking the leaves immediately. So now I switch to spruce trees to show you that as well. 
By the way, technically you can also use the farm to farm jungle trees, but you wouldn't get enough saplings back, which definitely defeats the purpose of a tree farm. So that's why the farm doesn't work with that tree type. Uh, the next video I will show the universal tree farm that doesn't have logs here in the middle and this way enough leaves will generate so we also get enough saplings back for the jungle trees. Because yeah, for jungle leaves there's only a 2.5% chance to drop a sapling while it's 5% for all the other tree types. And here the rates for the farm in logs per hour get the most with birch, it's about 27,500 and the least with oak. But it's all around that 20 to 25,000 range which is pretty decent for a tree farm. One last thing before I start off the tutorial, the TNT system I use here uses TNT duping in order to break the logs. There's no support for the TNT blast chamber because the farm would be too fast. Technically you could also run the farm with a dispenser but it would cost you 1500 TNT per hour. In case you're looking for a acacia tree farm that would uh, not require so much TNT, check out the universal tree farm that I will release next. That one is quite TNT efficient. And here's the full material list for the farm. Of course you don't need 56 water buckets, just shows the water sources like that, two buckets or a couple of ice blocks are enough. Then on my note, additionally you will also need three hopper minecarts and just one normal minecart. Right, I'm gonna slowly go through it, so you can see it all. Alright, now let's build this. We're gonna start with the sticky piston has a dirt block on top that you place the saplings on. Below that sticky piston you want to have at least 11 blocks of space for the water collection there. Alright, now let's continue. Then next to the sticky piston you're going to place a normal piston, slime block in front, and here on the side a glazed terracotta block. Then we add two normal concrete blocks and a dropper there that supplies you with the saplings but also yeah, sticks or apples case of oak trees. Alright, then we add two hoppers to point into the dropper. You can also now get a bit of redstone dust. And go around like this. Next we want to go to the back here and place two temporary blocks. And now three rails on top of normal blocks here. So like this. Then an observer that points into the rail. And another one right there. So this will be the server clock, triggers the droppers later, dispensers and updates sticky piston. Um, here we're gonna add now uh, two observers each on top. And then we go over here by one block, place a normal block, get a node block, place it here. And another yeah, observer updating the sticky piston. In order to prevent the node block from making a lot of noise, just place a button above. Then we go over with the observers a little bit, like that, and also power the dropper right there. Now let's add the on off switch. I'm just going to add a lever here on top of the normal block. Then below we can yeah, run a redstone line to power the sticky piston there. So something like that. Now we can also start adding the dispensers and the droppers for bone meal. So here we need three droppers like that. Then we can add the first dispenser right there. Here we need two more droppers and the other two dispensers on the side of course. Okay, you can refill the droppers here in the back using hopper, just a hopper line. And if you want, you can yeah, place down your chest filled with bone meal or shulker boxes filled with bone meal or barrels here in the back. You can expand this, you can make a shulker box unloader. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave this open for you to decide what you're gonna do for bone meal. Alright, then need more hoppers for the yeah, sapling and stick collection. So I'm just gonna hook it all up to that one dropper. This point and two more here. Then same on the other side. To this point and then another hopper here. 
That's the hopper layout. Let's continue with the wiring. So we need a block of redstone. Place it right here. Put a piece of dust on top. Then we need a block that can't be powered. So the rails on the side don't get powered. Like a glass block or a slab. Place down some dust. Then we go over. Go up two blocks. And go down again. And one block over. Okay, let's connect dust here. Then we need a repeater. A block in front. Place down a sticky piston. And another block in front. Then we go up. Three blocks over in total. Then one in that direction. The end points into a block. Then we have a sticky piston on top. Redstone block. And... Didn't work. <laughs> Basically need a sticky piston facing this way. And update it once so it extends. Alright, can you continue? We also need a block. Add some dust. Then we go down. Repeater. Runs into a block. Another dust here. Then sticky piston. And another redstone block. We also need a normal piston. Let's replace down here. And yeah, let's continue. Then we need another block in front here. And another normal piston right here. Okay, then sticky piston on two ticks right there. Can place down another block. And here we can also go down now. And over the goal is to power sticky piston there. And just connect the ends of red and dust. The next thing I want to add is the piston layout. So we're going to start on this end and add a sticky piston facing this way. Right, then another one next to it. And two normal pistons in front. Then we go two blocks over, place another sticky piston and a normal block there. Here we can now add another normal piston. And then in, here in the back, another normal piston as well. Then we go over there, place a normal piston and a sticky piston. That one has an open fence gate in front. Okay. Kind of the same. There's a side mirrored. So pistons like that again. Then here the sticky piston, normal piston in front. Two stickies in the back and normal pistons in front. Then here we also need normal piston facing this way, sticky piston, and another sticky piston. Okay, then let's also add the second layer already. It's actually the same except this spot we need a normal glass block. Um, same on the other side. So normal glass block here. And then the rest is the same. So next step is building everything eight pistons high. So basically copy the double layer from uh, the bottom three more times. Okay, then we can also place down some locks now. So here we need locks to this side, one higher than the pistons, same on this side. We also need locks here. And only a single lock right there. So let's start to wire this up. So I'm gonna start on the right side here. And the first thing we need are those observers. Every second block next to the glass block, they would point into just a, a solid wall of blocks here. Okay, in front of the first observer, I can place down a node block. And we're gonna fill in the gaps here between the observers of glass blocks. Then we can also go around. We need to place down node blocks here in the back to update the sticky pistons. 
and then on top we can place normal blocks. All right, um, here we also need to add another line for hoppers. So it connects like this. And this might be a bit tricky to place in case you don't have tweaker room mod. You need an observer that points into the lock here. Might need to take those out again. Okay, let's get the observer back. Points in here like that. Okay, then we just need to put some redstone dust on top of everything here. Do we need a normal block again? Pointing this way. And then also normal block here. Then we're gonna have a sticky piston block on top. And a repeater on two ticks. Just yeah, pointing into this block. And then here in the back we're gonna place the normal blocks, every second block. And then just put redstone dust on top and connect it all. So we're gonna do something like that here. Okay, also fill up this side here so the saplings don't fall out. The captain side. Okay, um, yeah, let's continue actually with the, the pattern here. So every second block we're gonna need the observer again. Then here we're actually gonna have hopper tower going down. And hoppers connecting to it every second block. Yeah, don't forget to pl actually place glass in between um, wherever possible. So that's only the case on top of the observers. There we go. Now we can also add the other layers. And put redstone dust down, also top of this hopper there in the back. Okay, that powers it all. Um, here we need another normal block that can be powered for a note block. And here we just go up with a, a glass tower. Slabs would also work, of course. Okay, so this side is fully wired up. Let's do the other side. So here we need to add two more hoppers like this. And here we place down a repeater and some redstone dust in the back. Then at the back of the first layer, again, we need the node blocks. And place down the redstone dust. Then here specialty we need a hopper minecart that we just drop down. So get a block, place any rail on top, place down the hopper minecart, drop it down. Okay. Then how should we continue? Yeah, kind of clone what we did on the other side there with the observers again. So I have an observer here, node block in the back. Every second block an observer. Then here just normal blocks. And yeah, let's wire up the rest. So every second block we're gonna need the hoppers again. Let's make a point into red sun dust here and then place down the repeater and dust on top and then drop down the minecart. So another hopper minecart. Then let's add the redstone wire in the back. Okay, hoppers again. Uh, repeater. And that's actually the last hopper minecart now.
Okay, top layer, more hoppers. Okay, that's about it. Then here we need a normal block again and also go up with the glass tower. Let's grab one real quick. Yeah, the dust on top of those also updates top servers. So like that. Then on this side, kind of do the same with the sticky piston again. So place it down here. Two tick repeater right there. Points into this block. Then every second block, the full blocks, dust on top. Cut down, glass blocks. Connects everything. Okay, now I actually got a huge chunk of the farm already done. Make also sure to fill this one up here. And I actually made a little bit of mistake here. Those are not necessary or repowered from this line here. All right, then let's continue here. So the output of the instant repeater. Here we're gonna go over with a yeah, two tick repeater. And I'm just gonna use glass blocks now. Because we need the diode effect there. So the signal can't go back down. And wire it up like this. Here we need to go up two blocks. Place down a one tick repeater. And we have to do that every second block as well. Add some dust in the back. And those actually point into logs. So those logs are also the reason why we couldn't have the other piston here on the side. Just have the glass block instead. And those locks would yeah, power the pistons here on the side. Once extended. Okay. And the last one. Okay, then we just need another glass block here or a slab on the side. And wire it up. Um, next we can take care of those pistons here. And just red some dust on top of everything. Next, here we need a pulse limiter so we get exactly a four tick pulse. So we need just a repeater, points into a block, sticky piston, and block in front. We'll cut the redstone wire there. Okay, then next step zero tick generator. So we go over here. Place down two more redstone dust, then you place some concrete above and a slime block. It doesn't have to be concrete, any full block is fine, of course. Then a sticky piston in the back here, another one here, and a redstone block there. Then two blocks that can be powered above. Then you want to get some normal pistons, make a little update chain like that, get some block event delay. All right, then we can just yeah, hook it up to this line here. Okay, then we need the same on this side as well. Let's block. Normal piston. Then we can connect it to this line. Oh, we should actually go around like this. So the dust doesn't update the piston directly. Alright, almost done. Next I want to work on a triple piston extender at the top for the oak switch. So there we can't use slime blocks which would make the, the, yeah, the oak switch a bit easier. Um, we need to 
use a normal old school triple piston extender. So we need a downwards facing normal piston this height, then two downwards facing sticky pistons at the top. Okay, then here redstone dust, block, blocks here, parator, repeater, glass blocks or slabs in the back, dust on top, then downwards facing observer here, one pointing this way. Then a two tick repeater on top of that, block, and a sticky piston. Then we have an observer facing this way. Okay, next we're gonna go over a little bit, have a downwards facing observer there. Put a repeater on top, and then observer pointing into this sticky piston. So place it like that. Alright, then we can continue. Here we need repeater on top as well, then a block here. And here we just go down like this and put redstone dust on top. Alright, then we can try it out. Attach a lever here on the side. The triple piston is extended and pulls it back up. Of course, if you want, you can now hook this up um, to somewhere we can reach it easier. So one way to do it would be to add the lever here at the bottom and make a torch tower to go up. That's kind of up to you how you do it. Okay, just be careful that you, for example, don't place any redstone line here on top. They could QC power the piston if it's getting powered. Yeah, just stay clear of that. Right, I'll just add the lever here again. At the top, I placed down a too high glass wall. The idea is that saplings that are maybe flung up uh, will be kept inside of the farm and eventually then fall down. So this is around the center 5x5 five five of the farm. Okay, then we can continue here on the left side um, with the further lock transport. So I'm just gonna add a repeater on top of each of those blocks. Then we have three blocks in front, dust on top. Then we need eight pistons each. Six, eight. You can also now go down, place on a repeater. Every second block. Then another row of pistons on this side. Okay, and then we go over two blocks and place down pistons here. Those will be powered through lock blocks. It's probably a good idea if you place them down immediately. Then nothing can go wrong. We just need one more tower of pistons, so to push them towards the TNT. So we're going to extend this line here. And dust and repeaters, that one is on two ticks. And that last piston tower starts here, so the blocks get pushed over, coming yeah, from this tower of pistons and then this pushes it in, so we need eight in total again. Eight. Then I'm just need to wire it. Let's get some glass blocks. And just put some dust on top. There we go. Now we just need one more piston part and the TNT dupe at the top. So the pistons that push in the bulk of the locks. Get some scaffolding blocks or slime blocks in this case. Go out 12 blocks. So we got 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Place down observer. We can keep those for a while. I'll remove them again. And here we got a sticky piston block in front. Repeater on one tick. And then a whole row of normal pistons. So that's going to be five wide and eight high. OK, 
let's fill it up. Then the wiring just standard. Redstone dust every second block. And then a slab or glass tower connecting everything. Right, let's get some glass. Let's get it again. <laughs> okay, place it down here. Okay, now we'll build the TNT. And the last thing we need is the TNT dupe. We're gonna hook it up to the on off switch there. So it's gonna start when we also start here at the bone mill dispenser. So we need a torch here and then 12 redstone dust. So we get 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 points into a block. Dust here. And then we need 13 torches in total. So you got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. The last one is off. Then we can add a sticky piston here. We need a slime block. Front of the sticky piston and then an observer attached to the underside of the slime block here. And now the TNT duping model and a little repeater clock. So here we're just gonna use repeaters. Then go around in a loop. That blocks here. And here another repeater, points into a block. Then we got a sticky piston in front, and now we're gonna build the TNT duper. Gonna, gonna add slime blocks like that. Then we need some walls. Place one here, take the rail, minecart, then a coral fan, dead coral fan. And wooden TNT is placed under the wall there. Then we need an open fence gate here. Walls on the side. And then also blocks to align the TNT, so glazed terracotta. This side. Yeah, normal blocks that side. Then we can add another sticky piston. Has an observer in front. It's done. Yeah, pause this block here. Then we can go down. Add two more fence gates at the bottom. So this one is open, the other one are closed. Three repeaters on full delay. Then we're gonna add a sticky piston here and there. And they have upwards facing observers in front. So like this. And here we're gonna add a repeater on one tick and one on three ticks. Okay, I just need to go over. Down. And add six more repeaters to it. All in full delay. Okay, got a piece of redstone dust. Has to be at the very bottom of the menu, of course, now, 116. Okay, and add them there. So this should be the... Okay, the only thing that's missing now is the water collection at the bottom, but I feel like I'm explaining how to do it in every tree farm video. It's always the same. So in case you're not sure how to make a water stream like that, I'll just refer to the last tree farm video. The only thing that is important is that you have to build this if you would go down here, 24 blocks lower, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, and then the platform. Alright, now we're almost ready to start it. One more block to place, the redstone block here on top of the slime block. 
that could activate the whole system. Okay, then you probably also want some signs here, so leaves don't grow yeah, inside of your head. And now we can turn it on. Let's try it out with some acacia. Seems like this is working fine. Alright, that was the first acacia tree farm. Thanks so much for watching. Next time we're gonna build the universal tree farm finally. Right, see you next time. Bye bye.